down here it's not about which restaurant has the biggest name who's got the most money that does not matter it's about do you care about what you do do you care about what we do let's marry that together based on the north island of bruni is richard clark he hunts and supplies hobart restaurants with wallaby meat before I moved down here, I was unaware that wallaby was a protein that people would eat because of people like Richard. We're able to be educated in using produce that is actually native to Australia. The cut that I generally use is the top side fillet of the wallaby. It's lean, it's grassy but sweet, and it's very soft. It's almost like a sirloin of beef. Richard's property borders Variety Bay with waters that have abalone, sea urchin and an introduced species of bull kelp from Japan. Down the channel in a small town called Flower Pot is Bruce Camp. There he's making incredible cheeses. When I first got down here, I had a list of things I needed to achieve and on that list was to go down and hang out with Bruce and learn about cheese. I realised that cheese wasn't his only specialty. He also has an in-depth knowledge of charcuterie. He's diving, he's harvesting, he's doing everything from the ground up in a very genuine way. Sulin Lamb, who's essentially at the base of Kunani or Mount Wellington. She's one of our vegetable producers who's been working on her property for 27 years and she's gained incredible amounts of knowledge. The time and care and effort that she puts into everything that she does truly, truly reflects in the quality of the produce she gives. I've had so many moments at a property where you have literally something as basic as parsley and the sweetness and the length of flavour, the juice that it provides is incredible. Over in Richmond is a lamb farm that is run by Soph Nichols. Almost until I'd had her lamb, call me closed off, but I don't think I'd ever had something quite like it. I don't know what it is, but as a reflection of her and how much she cares, I think it really does channel through to the quality of the meat. To be down here has allowed me to slow life down and it's given me time to be able to exchange and share ideas with farmers when I've never had that opportunity before. And to have that experience is one of the best things I've ever been able to gain.